Hello and welcome to another Blender Know How tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to create rigid body physics just like this. Essentially we're just going to take a cube and break it. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get started. Uh, this is going to be the project, or very similar to the project that we're going to be working with. So if I just rewind this, we're going to have it be the cube and if you hit spacebar it will crumble the cube and it will crumble on impact from this sphere. So let's go ahead and get started in here. Okay, we can just use this cube right here and we're going to need a couple things. Let's uh, hit sh oh, let me actually turn on my screencast keys. So down here in the bottom left corner you should see all the keys that I'm hitting. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to hit shift A, add mesh plane and move the plane uh, negative one and then scale it up. That is going to be our plane that we use to have this collide with. So we're going to break this and then uh, have it shatter all the way across this plane. Okay, um, there is one add-on for this that you will want. Um, so go up here to Edit Preferences. It comes stock with Blender, so we don't have to worry about going to get something. But just go to Add-on and type in Fracture. And it's a cell fracture node. So just hit that, and then we should be good. Okay, now come here to the cube, and for the cell fracture to work, so you don't don't do anything for a second. I'm just going to show you what would happen if we um, put it in right now. So I'm just going to hit OK, and if you see what happened, it it gave us four cubes. So it did technically fracture it. Um, but not with very much detail. So we can fix this. I'm going to undo that now. And uh, let's hit tab, go in here, and then right click and click subdivide. Now I just come in here and I'm going to type 20. Um, I don't know what computers you all have, but um, I would not go higher than 20 unless you have a really nice computer because um, it's going to. Uh, yeah, it'll start slowing down. Not just because of this, but when the cell fracture, it's going to do some uh, interesting things. It's going to take each one of these points into consideration. So the more you have here, the longer it's going to take to calculate the cell fracture. So subdivide it, and then uh, go back to object mode, hit F3, and this brings up the search thing, and just type in cell fracture, and you're going to want the cell fracture selected mes mesh objects, and click enter. Okay, and it'll bring up this menu right here. You can play with all these settings, however, um, you don't really need to worry about too many. This one will give you a little bit more uh, like resolution. It's, a, it's called recursion, and what happens is it, uh, like it scatters it a little differently. So that one you may want to increase. I'm just going to leave it the same, just for the purposes of this uh, video. But yeah, you can play with these settings all you want. I'm just going to OK, and you'll see that it took a second uh, to do that. But if we click and we select our cube up here, we can move it out of the way. I'm actually going to delete it. You don't have to. You can actually do some pretty cool tricks if you leave the cube in there. You can actually hide all of these guys and then um, swap out the cube last second uh, to make it look like it was not fractured at all. I'm not going to do that in this video, so I'm just going to delete this. And then some things that we need to do, we need to first click on the plane and go here to um, the physics tab, which is the, the one with the ball and it looks like a circle around it. Click on that and click on rigid body, click on type, and put passive. This essentially means that physics are going to be intact, but not really gravity. I think that's like the biggest thing. So like if we play, this isn't going to fall. That's the biggest thing. So this is, other objects will act on it, but it will not act on other objects, if that makes sense. Okay, so now if we select this cube, uh, there's one big thing you have to note here. We're going to do the same thing, so come in here. Okay, so select one piece, sorry, and then select the whole cube to make sure that you don't have this selected still. Go in here, click on rigid body, and then leave it as active, and then I'll show you a couple things real quick. So let's. There's some things that we can change in here, but just to show you the pr the reason why we're going to change it, I'm not going to change it yet. So first off, if we hit play, 
it didn't it didn't add it all there and you may think why not and that's a good question It's because if you notice on my screen this is the only one that is selected all these other or the only one that is uh, active that's my active selection these are all selected but they're a secondary so if we want to apply it to all those other ones all we have to do is go up to object and then rigid body and then hit copy from active now if we hit play it falls apart and we have a simulation and honestly you guys can all stop right there if that's what you want um, most of the time though that is not what you want because sometimes you want to have like a bullet hit it and then have a fracture so I'm going to do that as well so if you click on this deactivation right here and then open it up and click start deactivated these settings will will tell it on like how much impact um, to activate it but essentially we just deactivate it so now if we just go ahead and hit play oh and there I go again so I actually forgot to uh, apply that as well so you're gonna want to copy from active and now once you hit play you can notice it it doesn't break and that's sometimes what we want like before a bullet hits it's not gonna break right so let's uh, I'm gonna go back to the frame one and hit shift a and add uh, a UV sphere and just move it up um, also if you want to move it on along an axis my favorite way of doing this is not by hitting Z on your keyboard but rather using the middle mouse button and clicking and dragging and you can see this little uh, thing around there I don't know this is my my favorite way of actually moving things it's up to you guys but I'm gonna move a, a sphere up there and click rigid body and make sure it's active and I don't want to turn on deactivation for this one so now what happens if we hit play on impact the physics simulation is working so that's pretty much the video for today uh, if you have any questions leave them down in the comments uh, physics is pretty cool stuff and good luck with your projects